Another chaperone is Itzel Carranza, who's a GSS graduate. She went up like Mary last year. She's finished her first year of college and she'll be there as a Banning alumni and a GSS alumni to be a chaperone. We also have David Arian, raise your hand, and Jesse Trujillo. David and Jesse graduated from Banning a year ago. They're both in college now and they're working for me at the Port of Los Angeles. They went on this program four years ago. So they're here to help you. We also have the indefatigable Mr. Gregson. He'll be a chaperone. And everything, everything that we do is made possible by the support and good graces of, of one of our great local companies, and that company is Metropolitan Stevedore, who's just about a, a mile away here in Wilmington. Metropolitan <laughs> Stevedore writes a check for this academy for $25,000 every year. And it's, it's that check that allows us to do this trip at no cost to the students at all. And what I'd like to do is introduce John Hampton. John is the Chief Financial Officer of Metropolitan Stevedore. And, and let me also say that last year, Metropolitan Stevedore was so appreciative of, of the work that you students did that Metropolitan Stevedore granted a scholarship to Itzel Carranza to go to Mer California Maritime Academy. So, Mr. Hampton. Everybody. I know that you're all excited and uh, ready to go on your journey, so I'll keep this short. And I'd just like to say that Metropolitan Stevedore Company is very proud to continue to sponsor the GSS program and specifically the Cal Maritime uh, trip. Uh, as you leave today, uh, we want to remind you to all be safe, to learn as much as possible, and of course, have fun. Thank you. So again, it, it's companies like Metropolitan Stevedore that give back to their co local communities that, that we're appreciative for, and that's what helps us run the entire international trade and education programs. So this is going to be a this is going to be a fun week, as John said, but it's going to be a tough week. You're going to be in class. You're going to be jumping off of high dives, learning how to do rescue swimming. You're going to be rowing whale boats out in the Carquina Straits of San Francisco Bay. You're going to be at the San Francisco Fire Department's training facility learning how to go into burning buildings and put out fires. GSS Academy is all about being physical and helping the community in things like firefighting and the Coast Guard and Customs and Immigration and working for the Port of LA. So it's these skills we want to be able to give you this week. The course that you're taking, if you were to pay to take this course in a pr privately, it would cost about $1,500. You're getting this certificate that's issued by the International Maritime Organization that, that is a very, very valuable certificate and it's something you can put on your resume applying for jobs and applying for colleges that's going to really st make you stand out and differentiate you from all of the other people applying for the same jobs. So that being said, are there any questions from the parents? No? All right. Well, kids, give your folks and your loved ones a big hug and let's go ahead and board the bus. The 450-mile bus ride up Interstate 5 is like a geography lesson through the state of California. We went through or past many Central California cities, such as Lemoore, Hanford, and Kettleman City. As we drove, we saw mile after mile of vineyards, fruit orchards, 
oranges whizzing by. We watched the movie The Guardian about the Coast Guard and their mission. So others may live. Fortunately, Captain Morgan brought along some snacks and passed those out as we drove along. He also pointed out many interesting sights along the way. And that's called San Pablo Bay, and that's What's just above right? San Francisco Bay. There's the ghost fleet. See all the ships? <laughs> We're here! Yay! Here we are. We're at the uh, annual CMA uh, STCW training. This is our first night's dinner barbecued uh, hamburgers, hot dogs. We have corn on the cob, watermelon, baked beans, and coleslaw. Ready to go. We have head chef right here, Chris. Good How you doing? What's your name? Oh, I need a candy. Um, I borrowed my height. I'm thinking I'm going to get some Captain Whipple, can you tell us what we're going to be doing tomorrow? Tomorrow we're, you know, we're going to get uh, the morning session. We're going to give you a, a nice campus tour so you know where you are. You'll know all the buildings, you know a little bit about what uh, life on the campus is here. 100 miles and we went there with all students running the ship. And then from there, where did we go? Auckland, New Zealand. Auckland, New Zealand. So then we sailed from here all the way down here to New Zealand to Auckland. And then where did we go? Sydney, Australia. Then the ship sailed here to Sydney, Australia. And then where? Suva. Where? Suva, Suva, Fiji. Suva, Fiji, which was right here. We sailed back to here. Hilo, Hawaii. And then Kilo, Hawaii. Hilo, Hawaii is here. China. And then where? Long Beach. And then back to Long Beach and then back to San Francisco. So that was our training crew voyage all the way in the South Pacific. Years Coming all the way back like that. So we, I did that when I was 18 years old. Wow. And then where to go the next year? Uh, this would be pounds per square inch of superheated steam in the in in the boiler, uh, desuperheated steam. And when this simulator is running, the students are learning what all of these lights and and what all of the things do. Same thing with with this. This is the whole electrical system with the ship. Captain Morgan led the tour and described the local sites, such as the Carquinas Bridge over the Sacramento River, seen in the background. Whaleboat rowing was one of the favorite activities of the week. Captain Whipple and his son, Frank Jr., both Cal Maritime grads, acted as coxswains for the afternoon. One student made a big discovery. If we don't all row together, we don't go anywhere. This is a great activity that demonstrates that simple truth.